What a spectacular coast to coast. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. I'm your host, Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to take a look at how good Allen Iverson was in his prime. But before we dive into today's episode, let me ask you guys for a small favor. Please subscribe to the channel and click the notifications bell so you always get a notification once I upload a new video. All right, enough said. Let's dive right into today's episode. So, how do we start? I would say let's take a look how Allen Iverson reached his prime. When AI was drafted in the legendary 1996 NBA draft, there were many question marks to his name. Nobody was doubting that he could play, but having had some issues with the law, Iverson did come with a certain risk. But let's blend that out for a second. Even before he played a single game in the NBA, everybody knew that on the court, his potential was legendary. I mean, this guy killed his opponents in college. And when he got drafted, this is what has been said about him. Allen Iverson wants to help. You look at the strengths and the weaknesses. A lot of strengths, a big upside on this guy. What do you think, you and Rick? I think you also have to throw into the equation is the fact that he was defensive player of the year two times in the Big East. You know that with the basketball from end to end, there's no one in the league going to be quicker. Plus, you, you know because of the explosiveness that he can break you down from a defensive standpoint. And a major plus with this guy, he gets to the foul line. So then, obviously, there was the begin of Allen Iverson's NBA career also known as his rookie season. Iverson started off super strong, dropping 30 points in his first NBA game. It was clear right from the start that he belonged. The Philadelphia 76ers at that time were a very bad team. And even though they drafted a potential superstar in Jerry Stackhouse one year prior, it did not change that. Allen Iverson was a different type of point guard, which was very unusual at that time. He was a score first point guard, something that you see pretty often in today's NBA, but back then, this was super rare. He was a scoring machine, and even though he had some games where he did not play well, he would mostly follow them up with great performances. Iverson was in the Rookie of the Year race right from the start, but since Stephon Marbury of the Minnesota Timberwolves was also playing extremely well, there was no guarantee that Iverson would win. And then there was the streak, the streak where Allen Iverson would write NBA rookie history. This season, there have been several standouts in the race for the Schick Rookie of the Year Award. But recently, one phenomenal first-year player has risen above the rest. Iverson beats one, beats two. Hangs and hammers home! Oh, did you see the youngster? Allen Iverson's unforgettable week began in Chicago, where he took his first step towards breaking the NBA record for consecutive 40-point games by a rookie. Top shot, and he hit it! What a shot by Allen Iverson! And Allen Iverson begins the week with a career I-44. Two days later, the Sixers returned home, where Allen's outburst continued against Atlanta. Iverson, strong to the cup, gets two more. On this night, Iverson would soar higher than any hawk. So two straight 40 or more for Iverson. You know, like I said, he brings excitement, quickness, and a, a, a great offensive threat to the game. And the other teams got to react to that and, and try to stop him. But the Bucks couldn't stop him either, as he tied his career high with 44 points, as well as the rookie record for consecutive 40-point games. Iverson, Burns, Curry, yes, and a foul. And there it is, Allen Iverson with 40 or more in each of his last three. Finally, in a loss to Cleveland, Iverson scored a new personal best, 50 points, as he shot his way into the history books. Allen fakes the pass and finishes it off. Iverson for the record, yes, and there it is! Allen Iverson, four straight with 40 or more, breaking the Wilt Chamberlain standard that had stood for 37 years. 
and he ended his four-game scoring spree with some incredible statistics. Obviously, after the streak, Iverson became the Rookie of the Year. The next couple of years, Iverson worked hard at his game and got better and better. One major change was that Iverson was moved from the point guard to the shooting guard position, which suited his style of play even better. Now he was let loose to score and destroy his opponents. Coach Larry Brown helped Iverson to understand the game and reach the next level. Now Iverson would trust his teammates even more since the 76ers front office surrounded him with a great supporting cast. If we take a look at his numbers, we see that AI really became a monster and was literally unguardable. In the 2001 season, Allen Iverson would take his team to the NBA Finals where they would fight the heavy favorite Los Angeles Lakers. Nobody believed that the 76ers stood a chance. Still, they won the first game where Iverson dropped 48 points. That year, Iverson was the deserving regular season MVP. If there was one thing you could criticize about Allen Iverson, it has to be his shooting percentage. If we take a closer look at his numbers again, his shooting percentage was never that great. Part of the reason was that the Philadelphia 76ers offensively were a one-man show. AI had to take difficult shots and everybody in the entire arena knew that it was him who would shoot the next play. Still, if it comes to effort, it doesn't get any better than Allen Iverson at that time. The early 2000s were Iverson's prime. Always in the MVP conversation, always in the who's the best player conversation. If he would have played with a dominant big at that time who could also score, I'm sure he would have won a ring. It was just too much for one player to always carry the load all the time. Now with all the stuff that we just discussed, let's have a look what NBA legends say about how good prime Allen Iverson was. Time to roll, baby. Time to roll. Iverson to the hoop. Yeah! Iverson shot up and got it. He was fouled. Bring it up for the answer. Another sensational play by Allen Iverson. Brings this crowd into a frenzy. When I first saw him, he looked too small, too skinny. And I said, this little boy can't be what I thought he was. Iverson. But I'm gonna tell you something. He was more. He had such incredible speed and such a quick first step. You are helpless when AI has it going on. And to be that quick in his energy. This guy is amazing. It's something that makes him remarkable. He was just an amazing guy to watch play. At least once a game, this guy will do something that makes you just fall out of your seat. Tremendous competitor. He laid his body out there, and he always gave him his all. Oh, my goodness! he get knocked down and then continue to play, and we'd look at each other and say, nobody could play through a hit like that. This guy has such courage. You love the fact that he is fearless. Iverson's best season came in 2001 when he was named league MVP and led the Sixers to the NBA Finals. The 76ers are the Eastern Conference champions and Allen Iverson stamps his name in the annals of greatness. Philadelphia loves Allen and I don't think they will ever forget Allen and maybe there'll be a statue one day. In a 14-year career, Allen Iverson was an 11-time All-Star and a four-time scoring champion. His career average of almost 27 points per game ranks seventh all time. The fact that he's so great and so talented and has impacted our game in so many ways, when you talk about the greatest players of all time, he's always going to be one of the guys you mention. You know, the late 1990s and the early 2000s, to me as an NBA fan, were a different time. Gone were the days of a prime Michael Jordan and a prime Hakeem Olajuwon in that generation, and it was a new breed coming into the NBA. And if I have to be honest, Allen Iverson and Kobe Bryant, to me, were the most outstanding players of that era. So how good was prime Allen Iverson, in my opinion? Damn good, and definitely one of the best players, not only of his era, but of all time. 
Anyway, you guys, that was it for today's episode. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications button. And I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine. I was scared to death because I could play, I could play defense and all, but I knew I couldn't slide my feet with Allen Iverson because every night when you looked up at the Sports Center highlights, he was crossing somebody, he was putting somebody in the mix. And so all I knew is when I switched on him, I was gonna give him that Olay defense. I was gonna like, I'm gonna let him do his move and I'm gonna let him go. And I, hopefully I can send him to the baseline because I was not trying to slide my feet with that guy.